Hello everyone. Are you sitting comfortably? Good. Then I'll begin. Now, I'm sure you all think you know the story of Charles Darwin, don't you? Yeah, ring a bell? No, you're wrong. Absolutely wrong. Every one of you. You there at the back. You thought you knew, didn't you? You don't. Sorry. But don't worry, because I'm here to tell you the real story of the man who changed the face of biology and theology forever. The actual facts of the case. Now these facts were cut from all of the famous biographies for being too ridiculous. But I assure you boys and girls that what you are about to witness here is a completely accurate portrayal of events. But first, I have to set the scene. It's late in Michaelmas, 1827, a cool and breezy day in the first court of Christ's College. It's a Thursday, term is nearly over, and the college is very busy <coughs> indeed. Ha, ha, ha. 
It's not like Fanny will ever have a career or anything. <laughs> Charles. With his new friend in tow, he headed back to Christ, where he found Dame Stella and convinced her that he should switch to Bionatsky in Lent term. Reluctantly, she agreed, and soon the young Darwin was hard at work mounting all the animals he could find <laughs> and classifying birds' eggs like they were going out of style. However, things did not always go to plan over the next two terms. This is hopeless. I can't classify this fish at all. Its only distinguishing feature is that it's got no eyes. But the fabulous college cat was always on hand to help things along. No eyes? Well, it's obvious. Say it with me, audience. It's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I see. And how do I make a hormone? Well, I'll have to find a book on the clitoris. <laughs> 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 In fact, Charles was suddenly getting fantastic results, and it was all thanks to the cat's help, if not her dubious sense of humour. Not that their relationship was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Darwin, I'll never get it in while that cat is sat there staring at us. <laughs> <laughs> it's been sick on the carpet again. Honestly, I don't know what you see in that animal. Before he knew it, it was time to sit the first set of exams. Now Darwin and the cat studied hard, and when the day finally arrived, they definitely felt prepared. 